Good morning, America. Keisha M. Brown in for Robin Roberts, ABC News. I am calling on the location that I'm in, Rikers Island. Rikers Island in history is known as a place, what I'm assuming, I don't know a lot about it, as a place where, it, like it sounds, Rikers, everything is sharp, everything is brutal. Rikers Island, um, similar to Cape Island. Rikers Island. It looks like it's a, a industrial city in the 19 and actually in the 1800s with modern technology beyond that because we have cell phones, we have high speed computers and McDonald's, but it's Rikers Island. Everything you step on, everything you touch is like a glass, rocks, hard, jagged rocks, uh, needles, uh, pollution, um, arsenic, rust, Rikers Island. And there are these uh, Caucasians. Europeans, known as the Katayas, the Palumbos, the Rodriguez, the, the Snyders, that are concocting and mixing their pus from anything dead, anything, and just throwing it at you and we're having sex. It's, I, I'm sure it's happened before through slavery, but I don't know if it's happened on a mass level. Uh, it, it's like a, a sadomasochism gone super bad. And uh, the blacks that are involved in it want to hide it. I don't know how they managed to get this far. No. It, 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 no, thank you. Yeah, give it to me. Let me have it, man. Uh, yeah, let me have it. And it's absolutely repulsive. Uh, I was talking in uh, the la uh, in a recording that was done that was erased uh, about... Uh, and I, I got to qualify myself. I cannot stand Norma Holland. And I got shot again. I cannot stand Norma Holland or Jenny Ryan. Please. I've never wanted to work for Wham. Uh, Wham uh, Channel 13. Uh, a bunch of crackers. Just to talk about the soldiers that died. Some uh, police officers. And some firefighters every morning. And those are the people that are doing it. They're in plain clothes. Known as Occupy Wall Street. And the larger uh, broadcasting uh, networks. And they're throwing pus at me. To make it in a dead matter. It's known on earth, if you have dead matter, that it restricts you. To make me an accomplice by force. Because my assumption is, is that I worked in what was known as industry. What was known as co corporate America. Company America. Which was a direct call from the government from affirmative action from Vietnam. And I took care of my children working at Kodak at McDonald's, at Payless, at Circuit City, as a civil servant for the state of New York, joining AmeriCorps, doing various things, and thought these other people were doing it too, and they were, but we know that they uh, were threatened by terrorism. And instead of taking a bullet like in the Civil Rights Movement, they chose the ballot, like Malcolm X said. They chose the ballot over the bullet. And we know that it was only a fashion statement now and that if there was some female or some woman type that she she would become Madame Laveau Madame Laveau uh, whatever her shade is someone that would put people blacks under her foot and I have cancer spores thick tumors on my feet they keep applying them every night don't say nothing and it's a class thing, and I've never, I've never heard it before. I'm sure it existed. A class thing to compare me with some professional hookers that are black. Professional, they worked in industry, and they're hanging out with me. All the murders, the dope dealers, and the pushers, because I was uh, engaged in a uh, intimate relationship and had children with Terrence Howard. They're, they're coming to me with this. Time's up. It's time. Remember that from uh, Shredder Compton? It's time. It is time. And here he comes again. This cracker is in love with me. I don't know who put him on to it, but I knew it had to be positively reinforced. ABC News. Uh, again, the death of the black man it was a fashion statement. They're crying, getting on buses, like they're going to kindergarten for the first day. Like, you know how a black mother and... Uh, you know, you know that the city school district is screwed, public school is screwed, because, not because of the textbooks of the government, because there's whites down there pretending that they can teach their children. 
it's the first day of their lives, and they've just just made the most terrible say they 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 just you know kill uh, Christian Edward Miller. They just overlooked it, you know. They're sodomizing Oprah Winfrey. It's just you know, it's not it's not a big deal. Let's get on the buses and go to McDonald's and have coffee. ABC News: The death of the black male.